So for the past month, I took a very long break from For Honor. I returned one time for about an hour and then I put the game right back down. Now I'm making this video mainly for the people who were wondering, you know, where I've been and for the people that ask me why I'm such a low rank and take so many breaks from the game. So let me start the video off by talking about why I mainly put the game down for a while. If you've been around my channel for a while, you know that three things mean a lot to me when it comes to a game. Variety, or something to strive for, style, and most importantly, a steep learning curve and a rank mode. And at first, the lack of a rank mode was really starting to push me away. It was about six months before they put it in. And I don't really care about my rep score or any of that because the rewards aren't really interesting to me. I mean, personally, a few different colors aren't that important, especially since the heroes I use barely have anything affected by color. Anyway, I stopped playing for a little bit. Uh, after about the first week of not playing, Rank Play was finally released publicly and I decided to make my return. And in short, I didn't like it. I won my first and only tournament and while it was tense and the fights were fun, I couldn't bring myself to even be placed in a ranking because it just takes too long to play in a tournament. Now I don't know if any other game has a tournament style rank play but this is the only one I can think of and I know that this game would benefit from a more instant way to play rank like other popular games. Games like Overwatch, Rocket League, Rainbow, and other fighting games simply have you confirm that you want to play ranked, they throw you in a game, you play it, and afterward you get your ranking points. Then you can queue up for another game almost immediately. In For Honor, I had to wait about 10 minutes for the tournament to set up just to have my first opponent not show up. Then I waited another 7-ish minutes for the next game to start. After that I waited some more, fought someone else waited even longer and so on until the tournament was over and I got an ornament for Shinobi and 50 Steel. I would gladly play so much more if they ditched the whole tournament format and just went for a more standard rank mode. I think that that was probably the biggest reason I stopped playing, but it's not the only reason. So I play on console mainly because I enjoy being able to just sit down and turn on the game without really having to worry about anything and because my PC isn't really too great. So light spam is something we all have to deal with, but with the whole time snap removal thing, it just made certain attacks like peacekeepers light attacks and flicker attacks very frustrating to deal with. Don't get me wrong, I don't care if a game is difficult and frustrating, because once you overcome an obstacle it feels great, but it's only if the obstacle is fair. I really don't talk about super fast attacks, but after the removal of time snap, some of them just feel really cheap. And yes, I know I played Gladiator and the toe stab isn't much better, and I admit that it's corny so don't yell at me for that. Honestly sometimes it feels like they just balance the game for PC, so things like parrying and reacting to those super fast attacks just feel more difficult on console. Which brings me to my next point, uh, balancing. I really don't even know where to begin with this. I believe that behind connection issues, balancing the game has been a drag. I completely understand that you can't change a game overnight and fix everyone's issues, but it seemed like they were just completely ignoring feedback from the community sometimes. It took like 6 months for the cheesiest hero in the game to get fixed. Uh, it's not like, you know, it took 6 months for the problems to be found out. We had issues with Centurion almost ever since he came out. And the community not only complained, we gave out multiple ideas on how to make him more fair or at least just make him less irritating than he already was. When I stopped playing, he was still an issue and although I just kind of brushed him off in 1v1s, playing against him in any sort of team game just made it chaotic. Now personally I believe that every character in the game should be an option and I guess in this game every hero does have something that can be used but there are a few heroes who just stand above everyone else. They have more tools and they have more options to pick their opponents apart you know. Again I'll admit that you can't make changes overnight but look at poor Orochi or Kensei or the Conqueror. 
When it comes to viability or just their kit in general, they don't stack up to heroes like Gladiator or PK or even Raider. And Kant, Kensei, and Orochi are OG heroes. They've been here from the very start and have received very little love. I appreciate the relative transparency that the Warriors Den provides, but a lot of things just seem to be swept under the rug for some reason. Those are honestly just a couple reasons I put the game down for a while. Am I going to stop playing the game entirely and never think about it again? Of course not, I spent 40 bucks on a season pass, of course I'll play it again. Personally I do believe the game itself right now is in a good state, but a month ago I just kind of stopped playing, I was tired of it. I started playing other games like Overwatch and 2K for a while. I'm not saying that For Honor is a dead game and I'm not saying it's really a bad game. I was just telling you guys why I put it down. On the boring side of things, I also started college and continue to work, so I didn't really have as much time as I wanted to, you know, to really focus on YouTube, but I've adjusted my schedule so that I can stream and post videos again. I am sorry that I've been gone for a while, especially to those of you who cared and checked in on me. I do really appreciate that. And I know I kind of shot myself in the foot by vanishing for so long since YouTube loves constant uploads. Anyways, if you're still here, I want you to hear me out and let me know what you think down in the comments. I want to start posting more content on this channel. And to do that, I am going to have to start covering other titles, especially if I ever want to grow and make this a full-time thing for you guys. I've dabbled in posting other things before, but they generally perform pretty bad and I don't really get to ask you guys what you want to see. So let me know what kind of stuff you want to see posted alongside For Honor videos. And yeah, that's basically all I have to say for this video. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Sub to me if you're new, and be sure to comment down there and tell me if you disagreed with anything I said today, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.